Hi, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to show you how I transformed an old record cabinet from this into this. Last summer, my grandmother moved out of the home she'd lived in for about 50 years. My family cleaned out the house, and we all had the opportunity to choose some things we wanted to save before the house and everything inside it was auctioned off. I took this cabinet, a couple other furniture pieces, and many of my grandpa's tools. My wife and I liked the cabinet, but weren't fans of the paint, so I decided to try stripping and refinishing it. The first step is disassembling the cabinet. I don't show it here, but I ended up taking off the back and removing the inside dividers too. I wasn't planning on stripping the inside of the cabinet because the finish still looked pretty good, but I decided the whole process would be easier if I disassembled everything as much as possible. The paint remover I used is called Ready Strip Safer Paint and Varnish Remover. I definitely recommend wearing gloves while applying and scraping off the paint remover. The stuff isn't toxic, but it is very messy. The smell wasn't bad, at least to me, but my wife could smell it throughout the apartment for about a day. After applying the paint remover, I waited 48 hours and then scraped it off. Prior to scraping, I sprayed everything down with water to soften up the paint remover. This didn't really work as well as I had hoped. The paint remover was completely dry and didn't soften up very well. I'd recommend only waiting 8 to 12 hours after application to scrape. For some reason, the paint remover didn't do much to the doors at all. I'm guessing that when the cabinet was painted, whoever did it sanded off the finish on the doors before painting them and didn't bother sanding the rest of the cabinet. So the paint stuck to the doors much better than the rest of the cabinet. I ended up applying another coat of paint remover, then waiting just three to four hours before scraping again. This worked better, but I think you'll get the best results from waiting eight to 12 hours. The second coat didn't work much better on the doors. You can really see what a messy job this can be. Most of the paint ended up on the garbage bag I laid down, but some of it ended up on the concrete floor and was really hard to clean up. The paint remover direction said that it cleans up with water, but after it dries, it's really hard to remove from whatever it's stuck to. The doors still look terrible, so I decided to plane off the rest of the paint. I ended up planing all the parts of the cabinet that were easy to get at with the plane. Next, I sanded the whole cabinet with 220 grit sandpaper to prepare the surface for staining. The stain I used is Varathane Fast Dry. I had used it on an earlier project and was okay with the results. I find staining to be difficult. It's hard to get the color to look even and still let the grain show through. In this case, the wood took the stain really well. I was pretty happy with the way it looked. For the finish, I used Bullseye Seal Coat, which is just de-wax shellac. I like shellac because it doesn't have the plasticky look that polyurethane can have. I also like that it cleans up easily with alcohol and the smell isn't too offensive. Shellac dries really fast, so I waited just a couple hours between coats. Crushing it down worked well, although I missed a few drips and runs. They weren't obvious, so I left them alone. I thought about sanding them out, but I tried it on the back of a door and found that it was really easy to sand through the shellac and stain. Better to live with a few drips than inconsistent color. After brushing on two coats, I tried using the French polish technique. This evened out many of the brush marks. I went over the whole cabinet about six times. I wasn't going for a perfect mirror-like finish, just an even amount of gloss with some of the grain still showing through. Here's the end result. I replaced the door poles and cleaned up the hinges with some steel wool. As you can see, we need to work on our record collection. Overall, I'm happy with the way the cabinet turned out. My wife and I both really like it, and I was glad I could save a piece of furniture that had been my grandparents. I learned that I don't really enjoy stripping furniture. It's messy, smelly, and time-consuming work. If I was doing the project again, I definitely wouldn't let the paint remover dry before scraping. That made scraping a lot harder. I'd also put a larger drop cloth underneath the project to make cleanup easier, and I wouldn't spray everything down with water because that only made things more messy. I have links to many of the products I used in the video description below and I wrote up an article for the project on my website. If you liked this video, click the subscribe button below. And if you want to see what I'm doing between videos, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.